Welcome to EVE Online. I'm uh, just going to do a, a quick tutorial on probe scanning. So, I've got probes launched. And they've got 100 strength. It's because um, I have level 5 uh, and level 4 of the pin pointing, I think, I believe, or scan strength, range finding, I think. It's been a while since I actually trained any of the skills. So I've got astrometric rain finding four. It takes 45 days to get level five. So. <laughs> uh, astrometrics five. And then pinpointing, I'm not too keen on, and I just don't really care. And astrometric acquisition is like whoop de doo. Um, so with those skills, and the ship bonus of 37.5%. Uh, and the module, which is the um, the sister's uh, core, and the base value, I get 99. So that's pretty good. Um, my Irazu has uh, the same, and I don't, I think I've got pretty good skills too. But I'm pretty sure the ship roll bonus uh, is going to work very well for myself. Um, looking down this. And, and wormholes are typically easier to, to, uh, to find. Oh look, he doesn't have... Huh, too funny. Anyways. Alright, so let's bring up the system at F9. And what we have here is it, they'll typically... Um, put you right at the sun, the probes, and luckily these days, uh, just but, give me one second, let's disable some of these, um, there we go, shared locations, alright, so, clicking once and dragging, we'll drag it, and you're viewing uh, vertically if you turn I would not I would not suggest you use this ability right here unless you're in the system act just getting a, a bird's eye view of it but typically you want to double click to get vertical and double click to get horizontal okay so what you do is you before you move these because if you go like this um, and you go like this you're not actually centered on this thing. You click it once and you will be you'll find it, it it helps if you click once to focus on it. You get a more exact location especially if you're trying to get uh, the zoom down really low. Now this is a red signature and 0% so it could be anywhere in this orb of course. I guess you're probably familiar, familiar with that at that point. So we do an 8AU scan. There it is, wormhole. Really easy to find these. So double click to get vertical. Click once here. Zoom in. We'll go to... That is 29%. Now, how I do it is at let's see um i'll have to remember how i do it it's uh i've got it bef i've no noted it down so i think this is 10 percent see five percent ten percent twenty percent forty percent eighty percent no this is eighty percent forty percent twenty percent ten percent and five percent so we're at 29%, so 10, 20, 20. And that's how I do it. That's how I figure what range I should use. And, yeah, it's, it's, wormholes are super easy to find. So I'll definitely catch it the first time. Blues is so confusing these days. These these are still I consider them my enemy. Okay, so it is up to thirty-eight percent. 
So we'll still use the same, it's not 40% yet, so we'll still use the same range. And I'll double click, of course, there we go. And it goes above 40%. I'll uh, tone it down once more. There we go. And that is 93. So now I can go down to the minimum. Like so. Whoops, forgot to see. It's offset a bit unless you focus on it. There you go. And that's found. So that's how I do it. Um, it the double clicking off, you don't, 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 don't double click on it, you double click off into space. So that how you can uh, switch from vertical. It's so helpful. Makes it so much easier. Because, you know, when you go in like this, you don't really know, okay, uh, where am I? You know, so it's helpful. Um, retract. And I'll warp. Now, don't set a bookmark here, because when you set a bookmark, it won't be on the wormhole itself. It'll be offset a bit. And if you don't have an extra eight, you'll get a annoying error message when you launch. It's always it's always nice to um, so when you launch, um, it wants to reload, uh, and you're uncloaked when you launch them. So it, the reload is pretty quick. So as soon as it reloads, you can cloak again. Because once you're cloaked, you can't reload, right? So, anyways, that was trivia for you. So yeah, there we go. And we'll get closer. We can get the ID of it, 162. So we know that's just a, it's just a generic term. Uh, the actual number is on the other side. It means that somebody opened it from the other side, not from this direction. If, pretty sure that's correct. So it's end of life. It's uh, it's not um, it, its wormhole mass has not approached uh, half. So big ships have not gone, or sh uh, not not enough ships have gone through it, and big enough to uh, disrupt its stability by half. And we're going to, where is it to? It is, uh, so yeah, unknown always means uh, a wormhole space. So we're going to dare to go into it. And don't forget to bookmark it when you enter this, if you're planning on going anywhere in here except right back into it. So, directional scan, U200, that's, it's a typical size. the heck out of here, U210, and then I go save location. U210, and then in here, I just simply copy, paste. There you go. And of course, it's gonna pop, but I'll just put it in there and uh, there you go. Cool, and done. And that's end of life and people aren't going to use it because it's end of life so I think uh, pretty safe to start uh, doing whatever what I wanted in this system um, and that's it